We're gonna do an almond flour pizza with salad bar toppings, starting now. Hey guys, how are you? Welcome to AD Keto, my name is Aaron. This is the channel where we talk about all things ketogenic diet. We talk about keto foods, we talk about a little bit of keto science, and we do some keto recipes. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing and click the bell icon so you never miss a thing. So today we're doing a low-carb, keto-friendly pizza, uh, and the crust is going to be made of almond flour. I've experimented with some low-carb pizza crust before. I've done cauliflower, I've tried uh, coconut flour, and almond flour is definitely my favorite. It's got the best texture for me. It feels the most like a pizza. But the little twist we're doing today is that we're going to be a little bit frugal and use for toppings things that I get from the salad bar at the grocery store. So let's get started on the recipe. We're going to start with shredded mozzarella cheese. We need a cup and three quarters into a microwave safe bowl. So there's one. And then we'll do three of these quarter. One, two, we'll call that three. To our cheese, we're going to add three quarters of a cup of almond flour. One, ha two, ha three. Just gonna stir up our, stir up the cheese and the almond flour in here. The next ingredient that we're gonna to add to our mixture is cream cheese, two tablespoons. So these three ingredients are going to be microwaved for a minute. While we're over here, we're gonna preheat our oven to 425 degrees. Let's grab our mixture. We're gonna stir this up. And after we're done stirring and integrating this as best we can, we're gonna microwave it for another about 30 seconds. It's now been in here for a grand total of 90 seconds. And to this, we're going to add an egg. We're going to add a pinch of salt, literal pinch. And we're gonna add some herbs and spices of our choosing. Uh, first is this Italian seasoning, and then some rosemary, which I'm told is an herb, not a spice. Get it all worked together there. Okay, and that's starting. As you can see, it's starting to look a little bit like pizza dough. And now for the most important part, which I probably should have mentioned right at the top, you need parchment paper for this recipe. We're gonna basically sandwich our dough between two pieces of parchment paper and flatten it out on a pizza tray. Put it right on top and just kind of flatten it down. The parchment paper is key because it does not stick. And I have tried, I have tried doing this without parchment paper and I really had a bad time with it. So parchment paper is key. What do you think, is it looking good? Yep. So while our oven continues to preheat, we are going to just tap some holes in this guy. It'll help it cook a bit more evenly. So you can score this however you want. Our oven is preheated to 425. We are going to put this guy in for about 12 to 15 minutes. In you go, parchment paper and all on the bottom. Oh, why is it? That timer sounds sick. Oh, let's check it out. Oh, it's looking pretty good. So a trick with these is that if you flip this over, it'll help dry it out a little bit more. We, do, we don't want it to be moist because we are going to be putting, we're going to be putting all our toppings on. So there is our, it does smell good. That's our cooked crust. So for toppings, normally you'd go to the store and you'd buy some sauce, which I did. You'd buy some cheese, which I did. But then you'd buy an entire package of pepperoni, maybe have to buy a bag of spinach. But I thought to be frugal, uh, I'd go to the salad bar and buy all those things at once. And so that's what we did this morning. So let's go back in time to that moment when we bought our toppings. So let's go get some salad bar toppings. All right, so we're gonna grab some stuff that would be awesome on top of our pizza. Spinach, not too much. 
broccoli. That's plenty. Yeah, I'll get some of these bell peppers, why not? And some of this chicken. Bacon, baby. This is gonna be the superstar of our pizza, that bacon. There's some pepperoni. This is the, the only way to do it, because I think a package of pepperoni like this would be five bucks. But you get it at the salad bar, and it's kind of sticking it to the man. Get some of this. I think that's feta cheese. And I'll get some of this cheese. This pizza is going to be awesome. It appears to be a good kind of cheese. This is probably going to be around $5. And like I said, just a little package of pepperoni would run you five bucks. So if you're gonna make a keto pizza and you're looking for cool toppings, salad bar is a good way to go. So that's what we did with our toppings. Instead of paying five bucks for a bag of pepperoni, we spent $4.20 on this entire little container of all these things that are gonna go on this awesome pizza. So first things first, Rouse homemade tomato sauce. You guys may have heard about Rouse. It's a low carb, pizza sauce per half cup, there's only two grams of net carbs. So that's pretty flippin' good. Oh yeah. So I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it here. That's probably gonna do. I'm just gonna spread it around here. Spread this out. Then I'm gonna put down kind of a light sprinkled layer of our, um, the rest of our shredded cheese just as like sort of a base a layer of cheese. So I got all kinds of goodness in here. I don't even know what kind of cheese this is. You wanna try a piece of it? I'm not sure, but it's going on a couple different kinds of cheese here. And then I also got these tiny little broccoli guys. I'm even gonna make them tinier and put little tiny pieces of broccoli all over this guy. And these will get nice and toasty. After we put these toppings on, this is only gonna go back in for about five minutes because the crust is already cooked. Um, here's some chicken that I got at the salad bar. This is gonna go into, this is already cooked, which is good. So I'll just kind of sprinkle this around. I hope that this pizza crust is strong enough to withstand the mass of all of our toppings. Maybe I overdid it, but maybe not. A little bit more cheese to melt over things. Bacon bits, perfect pizza topping. I believe this is either gorgonzola, crumbly blue cheese perhaps. Yeah, you're actually right. I think it is feta. You can tell who's the brains of this operation. It's the 11 year old. Yep, I'm gonna put spinach on and then I'm gonna top with a little bit more cheese just to kind of cover everything. But again, like I said, less than five bucks for all this stuff. If you bought each of these things individually, you'd be spending a lot more than that. I don't even consider it a salad bar anymore. I consider it a pizza topping bar, you know? Let's put the rest of our, I don't want to miss any bacon bits here. So bacon bits, bacon bits, bacon bits. Maybe overdoing it just a touch, but uh, you know, I don't really care. All right, so we're gonna put this back in. Our oven is still set to 425, so we're gonna put this back in for about five minutes, just long enough, just long enough for the cheese to melt and for all these toppings to get warmed up. See, now it sounds fine. All right, let's take a look. There's our pizza, it's ready. Look at that thing, holy cow, that looks good. Probably gonna wanna let it cool, but I'm, I'm just gonna slice it here. I'm not gonna try to pick it up yet. If you're just starting keto and are missing pizza like crazy, almond flour pizza or fathead pizza is something that can really save the day. Um, kind of did for me early on. This particular pizza is heavy on carbs. Um, here are the macros right here. This is approximate based on what I put on this thing. Basically this hat contains that entire bag of shredded cheese, either in the crust or on top of the pizza. Um, and that entire bag, I think, is around 32 grams of carbs, plus all the toppings I put on here. 
So here we've let it cool down a little bit. I'm gonna throw a piece on each of these little plates. Oh, that's looking pretty good. You want this one to be for you? Yeah. All right, I'll have this one. One thing to remember with this kind of pizza is that it will fill you up pretty quick. I'll probably only be able to have one at, or at max two pieces of, the, pieces of this uh, this evening before I feel like I'm going to explode. So it's very, very uh, filling. That's gonna wrap it up for this video. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and let me know uh, what toppings you put on your fathead pizzas or your low carb crust pizzas. Um, I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you next time. And we're gonna add some herbs and mixture, or uh, <laughs>